Welcome to the WIC program. WIC stands for Women, Infants, and Children. The WIC program is a federally funded supplemental nutrition program administered through the Utah Department of Health. WIC serves women who are pregnant or who have recently had a baby, along with women who are breastfeeding. WIC also serves infants and children under age five. Participants must meet specific requirements to qualify. The local health department in your area serves WIC participants by providing nutrition services and breastfeeding support. WIC health professionals at local clinics prescribe supplemental food and issue e-WIC cards to buy this food at WIC authorized stores like yours. WIC is not a welfare program, but a nutrition program. Providing mothers and children with WIC services and nutritious foods helps prevent health problems and reduces healthcare costs for all of us. WIC is a profitable part of your store's business. As a cashier, manager, or bookkeeper, this video will help you appreciate your vital role in this important program. WIC provides a wide variety of nutritious foods. As an authorized WIC vendor, your store must stock the minimum varieties and quantities of authorized foods. The food inventory requirements can be found on the Utah WIC website, wic.utah.gov, or in the WIC vendor manual. It is very important to maintain enough stock of WIC food to serve your customers. WIC provides baby food fruits and vegetables and iron fortified infant cereal for babies older than six months. Fully breastfed babies also receive baby food meats. WIC can provide infant formula for babies that need it. Stores are only allowed to sell infant formula that has been obtained from state approved wholesalers or manufacturers. Women and children over age one receive 100% juice that contains vitamin C. WIC offers a wide variety of hot and cold cereal choices. Authorized cereals are low in sugar, are iron fortified, and many contain whole grains. WIC approves several other whole grain foods, including whole wheat bread, soft corn or whole wheat tortillas, whole wheat pasta, and brown rice. These are great sources of B vitamins, vitamin E, and fiber. Milk is a good source of protein, calcium, vitamin A, and D. Women and children aged two and older receive low fat or fat free milk. Whole milk is given to children one year of age. WIC offers other dairy products, including many varieties of yogurt and cheese. WIC provides eggs, beans, and peanut butter. Fully breastfeeding women receive canned fish, such as tuna or salmon, which are all good sources of protein. Fresh vegetables and fruits are a very important part of a healthy diet. WIC customers may choose what types of fresh fruits and vegetables to buy with their cash value fruit and vegetable benefit. If they select more vegetables and fruits than the total cash value benefit on their card, they will be able to pay the difference after the WIC total on their card is used up. The food approved by WIC is found in the Utah WIC Authorized Foods Booklet. Make sure your store has the current version. WIC clients are also encouraged to download and use the WIC Shopper app to verify WIC authorized foods. When you review the authorized foods booklet, you will notice that some food items require WIC customers to purchase the store brand or your store's private label. These store brands and private labels meet the WIC nutrition requirements and usually cost less. This saves the WIC program money so that WIC may serve as many people as possible. Many stores choose to post shelf labels indicating authorized WIC items. These can be helpful, but sometimes they are out of place. If your store has labels identifying WIC foods, please make sure the labels are in the right place and identify Utah authorized foods. In the clinic, participants learn which items are approved and how to use their eWIC cards to buy them. They may use their cards at any WIC authorized store in Utah that is eWIC ready. Your store should have a sticker at the entrance showing that you accept the Utah eWIC card. Your store cannot accept eWIC cards from other states unless it has been authorized by that state. Each family receives their eWIC smart card at the clinic. The card has a microchip that stores the food benefits that are loaded onto the card for all family members. They also receive a printed family food benefits list which shows the food categories and quantities the family has been issued. If they forget to bring their beginning balance list, they can go to your store's customer service counter or a grocery cashier to request a card balance receipt. The WIC customer's card may be loaded with up to three months of benefits, but they will only have access to the benefits for the current month at the store. Each month, their benefits expire at midnight on the last day of the month. WIC participants are taught to keep an eye on their remaining balances of ounces or containers to ensure that the package sizes they choose will fit within the quantities loaded to their family's eWIC card. 
Your store has the list of WIC authorized items programmed into the cash register system. Cashiers do not need to remember all of the WIC approved items. The WIC items will be recognized when the customer checks out. Items will only be paid for by WIC if they are WIC authorized and also loaded to the family's eWIC card. For example, if the customer selects a container of milk of a different fat content than what was issued, the milk will not come off of their card to be paid for by WIC. It will remain on their total for them to pay with another form of payment. If this happens, you can help them switch it for the right type. Store employees and managers do not have the ability to allow WIC customers to purchase items that are not on the WIC authorized product list. This is why it is so important to ask the customer to review the transaction at the register before they approve the WIC payment. If you find an item that you believe should be WIC authorized but customers are not able to buy it, you can report it to WIC through the WIC Shopper app or by emailing wicupc at utah.gov. Some produce items that have a UPC barcode need to be mapped to a standard produce PLU by your store's scan coordinator or manager before they can be purchased for WIC. If you run into any produce items that aren't working for WIC, let your supervisor know. WIC transactions are easy! Since cash register systems are different at each company, your manager or store trainer should teach you the specific steps to complete a WIC transaction in your store. When customers are unfamiliar with your store's process, they may ask questions such as when to insert the card. Please politely guide them through the process. At some stores, the customers may need to insert their eWIC card into the card reader before the transaction begins, or let the cashier know they will be paying with WIC. They'll need to enter their PIN number they set up at the clinic, but they won't need to tell the cashier their PIN. At most stores, the customer won't need to separate their WIC items from their other purchases. These can be done in the same transaction, but they must always pay with their eWIC card first. They will need to review and approve the WIC transaction and the items coming off their card. Once they have paid with WIC, the customer can then pay the remaining balance for their non-WIC items with another form of payment such as SNAP EBT, credit, debit, or cash. You should give the customer a receipt for their current WIC purchases and an ending card balance receipt. WIC customers can use coupons and store loyalty programs they should get the same sale prices and incentive items any other customer would get. WIC transactions are always exempt from sales tax. Customers are not allowed to return or exchange items purchased with an eWIC card for cash, store credit, or unapproved items. If they have items they can't use, refer them to their WIC clinic. If the customer experiences any card problems or errors, they should take their card to their clinic. WIC staff will be happy to help them. If you find a lost eWIC card in your store, please call the state office at the number listed on the back of the card. All store staff, including cashiers, supervisors, managers, and bookkeepers who are involved in WIC transactions must be trained on WIC policies each year. All new hires should be trained on WIC before they start serving customers. WIC provides general training materials and this video, but you must also be trained on how to transact WIC on your store's point of sale system. WIC provides a training eWIC card for each store so that you can practice. At least once every three years, a representative from the WIC program will provide face-to-face -face training for your store. The state office will notify your store when there are changes to the WIC program. If you think a customer is trying to break the WIC rules, or if the customer is verbally or physically abusive, contact your store supervisor. You are not required to tolerate foul language or any threats of violence. The store should report the customer to WIC so this inappropriate behavior can be corrected. Stores may use the WIC program business reply card to document the concern. If your store needs cards, contact the state WIC office. Keep in mind the majority of WIC customers understand and follow the rules. Remember, all customers should be treated with dignity and respect. Please provide the same great customer service to WIC participants as you do with all your customers. A person's participation in WIC or any other program should remain confidential. Please be careful not to draw attention or embarrass them. At times, challenges arise due to language or cultural barriers. Do your best to help these customers find what they need and understand how to complete their WIC transaction. There are consequences when stores do not comply with the policies in the Utah WIC Vendor Agreement. Consequences include warning letters, violation points, monetary penalties, or store disqualification. Violation points stay on the store's record for two years. Disqualifications are based on a significant violation or a pattern of violations. This video has only covered the basics of the WIC program. 
The Utah WIC website, wic.utah.gov, has much more information for store managers and employees, including WIC policies and training materials. You are an important part of WIC, a program making a real difference in the health and nutrition of mothers and children. That's something we should all care about. If you have any questions or need additional assistance, talk to your supervisor or feel free to call the state WIC office toll-free at 1-877-WIC-KIDS.